What is up, everybody? Kick is here, six back here with another video. This time, brought to us by Matthew May, who wanted to see how this game performs with Fidelity Super Resolution, also known as FSR, activated in this gameplay. So, once again, this is a Ryzen 5 8600G. We are going through right now. We are on recommended settings. That's all we're going to do for this video is recommended settings. And currently, we're on FSR 1. There's two different options in Call of Duty. There's FSR 1 and FSR 3. This short part of the video is going to be FSR 1. So, you can check out the FPS in the top left. One thing that I noticed when I hopped into this gameplay, it, it seemed a little... It, it, it wasn't very clear of a picture to me when I was playing. Some things looked... Uh, they looked uh, not grainy. Grainy's not the right word, but they just were not smooth. Uh, I, I, that's something you would give up to have 100, 120, 130 FPS like I'm getting. And it's still, it's still fine. It's still solid. I mean, I can't hit my shots, but that has nothing to do with the resolution. Um, but so far, um, FSR, which I don't believe that I had on in the first video, if you remembered. But in this one, it seems to be making quite a difference. But also being on recommended settings helps a lot. I could have gone through all of them from basic, minimum, recommended, high, ultra, and extreme, but I think recommended is probably going to be um, your best option when you do this. So, just a friendly reminder, as I say every time, don't forget to download the AMD Adrenaline software uh, for this, otherwise your CPU is going to look like garbage and it's not going to work very well. So avoid that and just download it first thing before you even load into a game. I tried to load in Call of Duty without it and it crashed my computer twice. So make sure you download that. Another thing as we're wrapping up the uh, FSR 1.0 portion of the video. If there's a different game that you want to see, this this is the last game in the Ryzen 5 8600G series. As soon as I am done with this video, I'm going to open up the computer and put in the Ryzen 7 8700G. But nonetheless, if there's any videos that you want to see, or any games rather, any games that you want to see, feel free to drop them in the comments. I will get to them if I can, especially if they're free. Uh, we've already taken suggestions like Valorant, we've taken League, and now we've taken this one. As you see, we're swapping over to FSR 3.0 and hopping into another uh, game of Stash House domination. Um, but if you want to see something else, great! I don't know if you saw that in the top left, but we hit 1,000 FPS on the loading screen. So, do with that information what you will. But... I'm not going to be here for a lot of this, um, but I will leave the re this entire match on this video just so you can watch the frames, where you can watch the gameplay, see how it looks. Now, you see we're not even at 100 FPS, we're at around 80, but it's much, to me, it's much more clear. The movement's much more fluid. So, if I had to choose between FSR 1 or 3, I I would sacrifice the 40 FPS and I would go FSR 3 100%. Recommended settings FSR 3. This is probably the best it's looked for me and the, the smoothest it's felt. So this is the one I would recommend doing. Uh, solid gameplay regardless the feel of it. So it's something that you're just gonna have to tweak um, in the in the uh, AMD adrenaline software. I also changed it to more of a performance-based um, modification on it. They have different settings. They have different preset settings, and I chose... It's like FX Reality or something like that, and it's supposed to make it a lot better. And that, mixed with FSR, turned this into extremely playable on this Ryzen 5 8600G. But... That is going to be it for me. Enjoy the rest of the video. If you like the video, feel free to join the Discord. The link's going to be below, as well as the Twitch, as well as the Facebook page for the computers that I build. If you have any questions, post them below. Hop in the Discord. I'm going to respond to you no matter where you reach out. So have a great rest of your day. Happy gaming, and I'll see you at the next one.
objective Alpha is compromised. Get it. We're taking Alpha. And we're taking Bravo. We're controlling. Friend the UAV update. Enemy securing Bravo. Objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. Enemy UAV active. Securing objective Bravo. Fire! Friendly FAE on the way. Enemy UAV active. 
Almost dropped 80 of them little bitch asses, boy. I was fucking y'all up with that no attachment striker, cuz.